watching Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. Fearlessly, fearlessly be yourself because you were made for this day and you were made for this moment. This is your day. Go seize the moment. Oh, I hope they are watching that on a loop because <laughs> it is going to be a big game in the football fever. The Buckeyes getting all pumped up to take on Oklahoma. This is the video they posted last night to their Facebook page, and that should do it. I hope that does it. Yeah, uh, that's an intense video. That'll get you going. TFF analyst Kaylee Mizell is with us Yay! this morning. And first of all, welcome to the welcome. team. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. We were talking um, about, wow, talk about throwing yourself into the deep end. I mean, you're here, yeah. boom, football time. I, and I love it. I Good. love it. I'm all about football. I'm all about um, everything that's going on with the Buckeyes right now. So Good. It's, it's just really exciting, especially if you're a Buckeye fan. There's nothing like it. Absolutely. So we have a, a team on the way out to Norman, Oklahoma yeah, exactly. as we speak. Mm -hmm. And yep. what are we going to be looking for this weekend? Yeah, This weekend, we're going to be talking about the defense. I mean, they have... They have been on fire since day one. This defense has stopped. They've not allowed a single touchdown. They've outscored their opponents 125 to 13. 13. You take away that pick six yeah. that JT Barrett allowed in that first game. Mm -hmm. They've only allowed six points. This defense, I mean, it's unstoppable. But in truth, we haven't really met a fierce competitor yet. We haven't met yeah. that fierce of a competitor. But but let's take a look. So uh, Ohio, Ohio, or excuse me, Oklahoma played uh, the University of um, Louisiana Monroe last week. Okay. They beat them 59 to 17. They still allowed 17 points. Okay. So I mean, even when you're playing, not as high of caliber schools, sometimes the defense will still allow points. Even the secondary defense that they bring in yeah. whenever it's like an unbeatable game, you know what? They're still not allowing points. Malik Hooker, eight tackles, three interceptions. He leads yeah. the FBS in interceptions. And speaking of leading the FBS, Ohio State actually also leads the FBS in seven interceptions. They scored on three of those interceptions. Hmm. The defense has scored more points than they have allowed right. this season. I mean, and that's just but, so incredible. It's not, and well, this Ohio State defense is the foundation of this team. What about that Sooner who was talking smack and saying our defense is <laughs> you know, nothing? That's, that's what is so funny. And I was tweeting about that this week. He was saying that our, our the defense is basic. Well, I, I don't know what he's looking at because the defense isn't basic whenever I basic's look at it. Basic's working. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I think that especially with those corners, those young guys out there, I, I took a Twitter poll. People said that they were really worried about that. Well, right. let me tell you now, you don't have to be worried about mm. that. They have it under control. Those guys out there in the secondary, they're on fire. They're going to keep doing what they're doing. Marshawn Lattimore, he's another guy to look out for. He had two interceptions against Tulsa. Look out for those guys. They, I promise you, there's going to be some big name guys in a few but years. But how do you avoid the overconfidence going into this? I mean, we're still, it's only, Vegas has only given it two points. So you can't be too confident. And I don't think they are. I mean, you have to remember, this is Urban Meyer we're talking about. This is a coach who, his motto, and you hear the guys say it over and over again, is the most prepared team wins. They told me last week, I said, why did you do so well against Tulsa when they were, you know, struggling with, you know, the rain and the harsh environment? And they said, we put ourselves in situations to prepare for this exact moment. Let me tell you, Urban Meyer hasn't lost a single road game in the five years that he's right. been here. Yeah. Well, Very you true. know, and over, I don't know if people knew this, last week they were blaring noise into the, they the practice facility so that they would know what they're walking into or at least try to replicate it as close as they could. Exactly. So they're going to work on those. And, and you might see a few miscues. You might see a little bit of miscommunication. Stuff like that is going to happen right. when you walk into such a hostile environment. And they're young. They are young, uh -huh. but I promise you that, that Urban Meyer and that team has prepared these guys in every every single way possible. It's going to be fun. You're going to be down at the tail gateway. Exactly. Right? I'm going to be down there at the tail gateway. Uh, hopefully eating some of these yummy pizzas that we see here. I know wow. they're like, I'm smelling them right now. Oh, yum. Are you set up at Pizza Rev this week then? Is that where you're going to be? Well, we're going to be out there in the beer garden, but okay. we are going to have so many great pizzas from yeah. Pizza Rev. And I mean, I mean, this is the barbecue chicken pizza. Mm -hmm. This is uh, veggies. The, veggies with like a white sauce. Yummy. And then a normal sauce. Do you with, see? Yeah. O S U. All the time. Spelled yeah, out. Exactly. O S U. It's a create your own pizza. You have. 
three minutes and you get to create your own oh, pizza. Nice. They have gluten-free dough, they have regular dough, and you can even do double dough if you're like all about, you know, wanting a thick crust, maybe that Chicago style type pizza. And okay. TFF is gonna be there for the whole thing. Oh yeah, That's we are gonna, gonna be there be for the whole thing. It's insane there, you know yeah. that. A night oh, it's game gonna be and so away, exciting. it's gonna be insane. So thank you. Of course. Great having you Kelly, here today. we will discuss the wearing of the blue later. Oh, good point. This <laughs> we is, will this discuss is not, that later. It's this true. is not, it's not um, Michigan blue. <laughs> So <laughs> it's better. It, it is better than wearing uh, burgundy, which is the Sooners color. So to stay away from the okay. burgundy, you definitely wear the bright red, which <laughs> you'll it. see me in tomorrow. Okay, I that's good enough. The football fever back on the air tomorrow night, right here on Fox 28. Our pregame show. We'll count you down to kickoff. 7:30 is the kickoff, and then join us right back here again for a reaction from Coach Meyer, the players, and our team of analysts, including Kaylee, right here. Good to have you. Thank, Thank you guys you. so much. And still more to come on Good Day Columbus. A legally blind sophomore just did something no one else has done at her high school. She actually joined the marching band. Wow. Her incredible story with Adam Slinger coming up next. Your shoulder, pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole from your roommate back in Boston.